Hello, it's Jimmy here, the Whitey's of looking here at a Citroen Dispatch. Okay, this vehicle has done 144,000 miles. It's the two litre engine and it is an automatic version. So if we start it up, and we may need to wait a few seconds, but we'll hear a lot of beeping. Uh, so we've got the spanner light on, I think, just because the service is overdue or whatever, but we're gonna have some errors popping up in just a second. Takes a while, but it will come. I've already been diagnosing this vehicle. There you go, engine fault repair needed. So I've already tried diagnosing this and trying to find the issues, I've, but I've been here in this position a lot of times now. Uh, the engine management light has gone off because I did clear some of the codes earlier. So if we have a look at the diagnostic here, we're using the launch Eurotab 3. We're just gonna ignore some of these. This is just all about USB stuff and whatever. So we've got a fault here with the additive tank. Um, I did try to program that in. It's got a new tank fitted in it that was fitted from Citroen and it's been back to Citroen I think I don't know how many times he said 10 or 11 times but they can't get the tank to work basically uh, they've tried everything and they can't they just simply can't get the tank to work um, we've got a couple of more fault codes here which are these two there was another couple of codes here as well um, P2463 I think and another another code for the multiplex additive tank I think it was a 1818 code or whatever you call it um, so if we go into the faults here another thing I'll mention here is I did come into this as a Peugeot because the Citroen some of the options in the Citroen menu just weren't working so come in as a Peugeot and it seems to be everything's working here like this so we're gonna go to the live data and exhaust line information too we'll select all of those so now that we're in here we can see the timer has run out for the dpf so that it's it needs a, a new dpf basically according to the mileage uh, we were just sitting on 30 millibars of pressure but it's hovering sort of between 20 to 30 because it only jumps in 10 increments so you it's probably sitting around 29 millibars because it jumps from 20 to 30. So it needs a DPF clean. It should be sitting around sort of two to five millibars of pressure. So here's the next bit. I mean, I've checked over the vehicle and there's nothing I can seem to do, to do that the Citroen guards couldn't do to fix the Eli's or Pat tank that is in the vehicle. So just to get the error to go away so the vehicle is going to be able to regen on its own what the customer is doing he's got his own diagnostic machine he's clearing codes to get the vehicle to sort of regen and get it out of limp mode um, to keep the van going so I'm going to show you how I can sort of disable the Eli's tank from the system here for for now because he can't seem to figure out a way to uh, fix it so I have been in this position before with these exact same vans and I know people will say software updates can fix it. It's been to Citroen already. They couldn't do it. It's got power supply at the at the pad tank and signal. Everything's there working, but it just will not program. You program it in, and the fault goes away. But within five minutes, it pops back up again. So we're going to go into the BSI interface here. Wait for that to load up. Now we're going to go to special functions, configuration, vehicle configuration engine now we're going to go down along here and we're going to look for the additive tank so this is ECU configuration menu we're going to look for the additive tank this one and we're going to press absent now I've done this on some vehicles before and um, only because it's a last measure and you know your repairs aren't working software updates aren't working what he's supposed to do. Citroen can't figure it out. He doesn't want to scrap the van, so we want to try and get it working. We're going to do the configuration to absent the pad fluid tank. And like I said, it doesn't, in my experience, it doesn't cause any issues with the DPF regeneration in the future. So that's done. So now that that's done, we should be able to clear this fault, which is B2EB0. There was another one, I think it was B1818. 
and then we've got the P134, 1434, sorry, as well as the particle filter warn. So most of this is just all software telling it that this is not needed, and this one is just telling it that it's got a new DPF, but the pressure is high in the DPF, so we're going to clean that as well. Okay, so let's clear these fault codes, and we should be left with just a DPF fault. Okay, so now we just have this code to deal with. Again, that code is generally just telling the vehicle that it's got a new DPF. We're going to clean the DPF, so you shouldn't do this now. Unless you clean the DPF, make sure that the pressure is good. Do not do what I'm doing here. So we are cleaning the DPF. If you don't clean the DPF and you do this, you can then cause the van to do a regeneration of the new DPF that's been fitted in and it will overheat and possibly crack the DPF. So just make sure you know what you're doing before you do this stuff. Okay, now the replacement tank has been uh, programmed in. We're gonna now just clear the fault codes. You can see that that's now cleared. Okay, we're just gonna go back in and read the fault code, make sure that it has cleared. Okay, now we're gonna clean the DPF. I'm using this kit. This is Launch UK DPF cleaning fluid with the gun. Got a compressor. I'm gonna turn that on up to 130 PSI. Here is the DPF on this van. Just gonna remove the clip and then we can push the tube off. And I can collect my own, connect my own uh, tube on there. Just like that. Now we can just get this fluid sprayed in. Okay, now we're back in the van. We've got the fluid in the DPF. We'll just let it sit for a minute or two. We'll just start the engine up now. And we're just going to go back into the engine ECU so we can keep an eye on the live data. So we're going to hold the revs up around 3000 RPM. And we'll keep an eye on the DPF pressure. So we want that to come down to sort of 40 or 50. If it's going to be a good DPF. So we have got a engine management light come back on. That's where we are at the minute. We're down around 220. I'm just going to go back and see what the fault code is. It's probably still saying that it's a DPF blockage. Yeah, these were the codes that we had before. So I did clear them at the first when I was trying to get the pad tank fault to clear. So now, hopefully, once we've got this pressure down to where it needs to be, these faults will clear and they won't come back. We're down to 70 now, it's taking a big drop. It's coming down a little bit again. Normally see these come down around 40. As long as the DPF is in a healthy condition. see what I mean where these where they drop from 70 to 60 so it doesn't go to 69 68 you see it just drops in tens so we're just down to down to about 50 now so that'll be sort of we're hovering between 59 to 60 there okay just gonna let it idle down see we should be getting a zero reading, really, if we're under 10. We want it to be under 10 millibars, so we want that to be reading zero. Okay, we're just going to go back for a minute and clear the fault codes again for the DPF blockage. Okay, now that's all been done, we have reset the oil service warning as well, just so it doesn't affect anything. He's going to get the oil changed once he's back home. Okay, so the final result, we've done a test drive. Engine management light is off. We now have a zero reading at idle. Uh, we're gonna hold the engine speed up to around 3000 RPM.
looks good enough. Okay, so it looks like we're all sorted. We've got the DPF pressure down. The Eli's tank is no longer giving us a warning. And like I said, I've done this before. I know it's not the right way to do it, but sometimes you're left with no other option. Um, if it's been at Citroen, they've tried looking at the software, they've tried doing that, they've replaced the tank twice. They've also put two brand new turbos on this he said as well, so I don't know what that was about, but something or another. Okay, that's it. We're all finished on the Citroen dispatch. See you next video.